Hello and welcome into the 3D. In this tutorial, we will learn how to change the standard cursor to any cursor that you like. So let's get started. First, you need a transparent cursor image. Make sure it has a transparent background and you can use PNG as a format. Once you have it, drag and drop it to your assets folder inside your Unity project. Then click on the image, go under inspector and make sure the texture type is set to cursor. If you don't set this, it will not work, so change this and press apply. For the next step, we need to create a game object. Right click on the hierarchy and create an empty object. Rename it as game manager and then I will reset the positions of this object by clicking on these three dots and click reset. As a final step, we need to create a C -sharp script. Right click, go to create and create a C -sharp script. Rename it as custom cursor and press enter. Great. This custom cursor script needs to be attached to our game manager. Select the game manager, hold the custom cursor and drag and drop it to the inspector. As you can see, the script is now attached to the game manager. Now let's double click on the script and it will open Visual Studio or any umbrella software that you use. First, let's get rid of the things that we don't need. We don't need the update and we don't need the system collections. Keep the using unit engine and void start. At the top, we need to create a public variable. Public texture 2D and we will name it as cursor texture. Now let's create a private void and we can name it as set custom cursor double brackets and curly brackets. Under this, let's write cursor dot set cursor double brackets inside the brackets call the cursor texture then we can call the vector 2.0 and at the end we need to set the cursor mode to auto. Oops, we don't need the F. Make sure to copy everything as it's shown on the screen. If you have any error, check the spelling mistakes. Finally, we need to activate this function, go to void start and call the set custom cursor, double brackets and finish it with semicolon. If you are done, press Ctrl and S to save the script, minimize this panel, give it a few seconds, go to your game manager, you will see that we have a cursor texture setting. Let's drag and drop the cursor image that you have, double click on the game and press play. Now as you can see our cursor has changed from basic to a custom cursor. So that was it for today and if you want to see more content on this channel please comment down below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Once again thanks for watching, I see you guys next time.